Nvidia's latest earnings report showcased phenomenal growth, with record-breaking revenues reaching $26 billion for the quarter. This represents an impressive 18% surge from the previous quarter and a staggering 262% increase year-over-year. -year. Earnings per share also exceeded expectations, standing at $6.12, surpassing analyst estimates by 10% and soaring 7.5 times higher than the same period last year. A standout performer was Nvidia's data center segment, which now constitutes a significant 86% of their total revenues, up from approximately 60% just a year ago. Data center revenues surged past $22.5 billion, marking a remarkable 22% increase from the previous quarter and an astounding 427% leap year over year. This trajectory positions Nvidia to potentially achieve $100 billion in AI accelerator revenues for the year, a notable contrast to AMD's projected $4 to $5 billion and Intel's relatively modest presence in this domain. However, it's crucial to contextualize these exceptional figures. Nvidia encountered substantial challenges just a year ago, notably in its gaming segment, which was then its primary revenue driver. The gaming division faced significant headwinds amidst broader weakness in the PC market. Nvidia's strategic pivot towards data centers during the preceding year's second and third quarters was a response to these difficulties, marking a period of turbulence for their gaming segment. Looking forward, it's imperative to address potential risks confronting Nvidia, including heightened competition and supply chain constraints. While Nvidia currently enjoys dominance in the AI chip market, rivals such as AMD and Intel are intensifying their efforts in this arena. Additionally, disruptions in the global supply chain pose challenges for Nvidia's manufacturing and distribution operations. Regarding my NVIDIA stock holdings, I'm vigilantly monitoring these developments and re-evaluating my position, especially in light of the impending 10 for 1 stock split. While NVIDIA's recent performance is undeniably impressive, prudent risk management and a comprehensive understanding of market dynamics remain essential for making informed investment decisions. During the recent earnings call, NVIDIA's CFO, Colette Crest, spotlighted pivotal advancements within the company's product roadmap, particularly in the realm of networking solutions. A notable revelation was the introduction of their Spectrum X Ethernet networking solution, tailored specifically for AI applications. This comprehensive offering includes the Spectrum 4 switch, Bluefield 3 DPU data processing unit, and cutting-edge software technologies crafted to tackle the distinctive challenges inherent in AI processing over Ethernet. Crest underscored Spectrum X's remarkable achievement of delivering a 1.6x surge in networking performance for AI workloads compared to conventional Ethernet configurations. This substantial performance enhancement heralds a transformative shift for data centers prioritizing AI tasks, empowering them to achieve heightened efficiency and throughput without necessitating a transition to more specialized alternatives like InfiniBand. Furthermore, Crest highlighted Spectrum X's swift adoption in the market, with several clients embracing it, including a significant deployment involving a 100,000 GPU cluster. This widespread adoption underscores the scalability and reliability of NVIDIA's networking solutions, unlocking lucrative opportunities within the multi-billion dollar Ethernet-based data center market. In essence, NVIDIA's foray into Ethernet-based networking solutions signifies a significant growth trajectory, expanding its total addressable market and solidifying its stature as a front-runner in AI hardware solutions. In the realm of technology, the true essence of profitability often lies not in the individual products themselves, but rather in their seamless integration within a larger ecosystem. Take, for instance, NVIDIA's upcoming GX200 NVL, a pivotal component at the apex of their roadmap. To truly grasp its significance, we must delve into the narrative of Blackwell. Scheduled for shipment by year's end, Blackwell transcends mere GPU functionality. It embodies an accelerated computing platform, poised to infiltrate various sectors, from self-driving cars to industrial machinery, even humanoid robotics. And nestled within data centers and supercomputers, Blackwell boasts two formidable variants, the B100 and the B200. The B100 serves as a seamless replacement for its predecessor, the H100, ensuring a smooth transition within existing infrastructures. Meanwhile, the B200, the creme de la creme of Blackwell, heralds a quantum leap in. Performance efficiency. With fourfold gains in AI training and a staggering 30-fold increase in inference capabilities, it's no wonder Nvidia wields such formidable pricing power and maintains robust margins. But the journey doesn't end there. Enter the GB2200 Super Chip, a marvel of engineering showcased by Jensen himself during Nvidia's GTC keynote. This powerhouse seamlessly integrates two B200 GPUs and a Grace CPU, epitomizing the pinnacle of computational prowess. 
Whether interconnected via NVLink or Spectrum 4 switches, these chips converge within the Blackwell Compute node, forming the beating heart of AI data centers. And let's not overlook the Bluefield DPUs, vital cogs in the machinery of data processing, as hinted by NVIDIA's CFO during earnings calls. These elements collectively paint a portrait of synergy and innovation, where each component is but a piece in the grand mosaic of technological evolution. NVIDIA's data processing units, DPUs, adeptly manage networking tasks, alleviating the burden on system CPUs and GPUs. In the GB200 NVL72 system, 18 compute trays house GB200 superchips, each equipped with two Blackwell GPUs. This arrangement results in 72 Blackwell GPUs interconnected via NVLink, facilitating lightning-fast GPU communication at 130 terabytes per second, surpassing the aggregate bandwidth of the Internet. Adjacent to the compute nodes lie nine NVLink switch trays, each accommodating two NVLink chips that connect four Blackwell GPUs. This comprehensive setup underscores NVIDIA's unmatched dominance and the critical importance of Ethernet-based data centers. Each AI factory rack boasts an impressive 1.4 exaflops of AI training performance, a milestone akin to only a select few supercomputers worldwide. Atop every rack sits a networking tray facilitating inter-rack connectivity, currently leveraging InfiniBand but soon transitioning to Ethernet. NVIDIA's recent earnings call unveiled plans for new GPUs, including the Grace X Super Chip and Enhanced Networking Solutions. Following the precedent of drop-in replacements seen in B100 trays, the next-gen GPUs promise seamless integration ensuring a smooth upgrade path for data centers invested in Hopper or Blackwell systems. Despite NVIDIA's robust performance in the data center sector, risks persist, notably the 10-4-1 stock split. While hardware innovation drives a significant portion of NVIDIA's revenue, the software aspect also holds substantial importance, a topic warranting separate exploration. Let's dissect the trove of insights surrounding NVIDIA, a dominant force in my investment portfolio. If you're finding this content valuable, a thumbs up and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Now, let's unpack the risks tied to holding NVIDIA stock, especially within their data center division. NVIDIA contends with competition on two fronts, fellow chip giants like AMD and Intel, and tech titans such as Amazon, Microsoft, and Google, who craft their own chip solutions. However, unlike typical consumer markets where brand loyalty often dictates purchases, the landscape of data centers operates differently. Each procurement isn't necessarily a loss for NVIDIA since data centers demand a diverse mix of hardware and software tailored to varying workloads. Data center operations resemble intricate portfolios, aiming to optimize costs by deploying the most fitting array of systems. While NVIDIA shines in intensive training and inference tasks, not all workloads currently demand AI capabilities. Consequently, data centers leverage chips from AMD and Intel for specific functions, develop bespoke solutions for certain tasks, and integrate NVIDIA systems for AI-heavy applications like training and inference. As the industry progresses towards cutting-edge AI applications like video frame generation and protein modeling, NVIDIA's prowess in inference tasks remains steadfast. While competitors may excel in certain AI arenas, their efficacy in intricate tasks like text-to-video or protein modeling is still under scrutiny. NVIDIA's potential inclusion in the Dow Jones Industrial Average could significantly bolster its prospects. Unlike market cap-based indices, the Dow Jones, comprising 30 major companies like Microsoft and Apple, emphasizes stock prices. NVIDIA's upcoming stock split on June 7 could amplify its gains, alongside advancements in networking solutions and a declining price-to-earnings ratio. Personally, I'm increasing my stake in NVIDIA, prioritizing strategic investment over chance. Congratulations to fellow NVIDIA shareholders. Remember, the wisest investment is in oneself. Signing off as ticker symbol you, I'm Alex, urging you to invest in yourself.